Hey everyone, welcome back. We've got another image sent in for us to edit. We're going to be trying to recreate the exact same edit with the same photo. So we're going to be working with this one here. She has sent this into us. I'm going to be trying to get the same edit the best we can. So as you can see, a lot of vibrance, a lot of clarity, a lot of colors are popping. So if you guys really like her style, you can go give her a follow down in the description. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom and see if we can create something really nice like this. Okay, so here's the edited image from our Instagram and the raw unedited file. So let's do first things first. Let's enable profile corrections, get all those straight lines and remove the vignetting. Uh, let's up the warmth of the entire image. And let's just brighten it a bit. Okay, now let's drop, play around with some of these, drop the highlights. And our exposure actually doesn't look too bad. We need a lot of clarity and that's gonna really affect our image. Makes it kind of go gray, so let's add in a lot of saturation. Okay, we need things to be a bit brighter. We look a little too dark. Shadows. the whites you can see we're brighter in the brightest areas so let's bump them up and blacks and when I'm working with these sliders I'm always thinking how much detail I can see in areas such as the shadows are up here and then uh, this is the fade to them or the dark darkness to those areas but these will actually bring out detail in those areas we're lifting the blacks here it's going to add a fade lifting the blacks here you actually bring out the detail in there so that's the slight difference you just need it it's the same with the highlights and it's very small but that's that's how i know how much of a tone curve to put in for contrast compared to up here um, so let's just do the s curve s curve done and i think the contrast and exposure is looking pretty good at the moment so if we look at before and after you can see we brightened it a bit brightened those shadows the shadows still probably have to come out a bit say in here we look a little too dark and bland but i think the luminance down here is going to affect quite a few down here is going to affect the brightness a lot and we'll get onto that pretty soon so i want to warm up the entire image a bit and I'm thinking highlights. So we look a little blue in uh, the whitest areas here. So I'm going to come down, choose a nice orange slash red. And just put a little bit in there. You don't want to go too crazy with split turning because it becomes quite obvious pretty quick. Um, so just a really small amount. And let's move on to maybe HSL now. No, we'll do a bit of a vignette. So it's only a little bit of a vignette, but you can tell it's just a bit darker around the edges. So I'm just gonna slide it. And then I'm gonna shift the midpoint because I think it it's not all the way into the middle. It's quite it falls off pretty quickly on the outer edges. 
leave it about there. It's only very subtle. And now let's go. Let's work with some HSL now. So we'll try to fine tune a few colors. And so we want more reds and deeper oranges. We've got a lot of yellows at the moment. So first thing I'm gonna grab is the yellow slider here. Shift it a long way to about there. Now let's play around with the oranges. And they're affecting pretty much the same area, so it makes it quite tricky. But you just gotta keep playing around. You can see the yellows don't affect, oh, they kind of do affect the skin, skin tones as well. Um, reds. So pretty much just up on the roof there. Let's keep plenty of nice reds. Because uh, if they're too close to orange, we lose the redness and so make them extra red by pushing them a little bit towards purple. And now let's move on to the blues. So, uh, it's quite tricky this bit because you got the blues here and you've got the aquas and it's which which way should you go because they both affect the same area so what I do is try to pick a place that only one area is affected by say the blues and I and I saw that the aquas don't affect this little bit of blue where these lights are but the blues do affect that spot so what I'm going to do is match up the color of the little lights with the blues and then I know the rest all this area is going to be affected by the aquas so let's shift the blues to match this blue here at the moment we're looking too much of a dark blue we want more of a teal so now they're much more teal just worried about this little light looking similar to this one over here and now i know the aquas is going to be the rest so we're obviously looking too green too too teal let's shift it towards the blues and yeah I'm, I think that looks pretty close there and then uh, before we do saturation I might I'll quickly bump up some oranges drop the yellows the reds okay so luminance is the brightness of colors and the deepness of colors so i'm thinking i want some deep reds pretty much just affecting the roof up there i'll drop them a bit oranges you can see how that really brightens all the shadows in there You've got a lot of oranges in those shadows bring that up could come in with a filter but I think brightening the oranges with the luminance is fine and then I think our water could look a little deeper in the blues let's drop that down a bit and now our blues look a little too saturated because when you deepen colors they become they look more saturated and when you brighten them they look less saturated so pay attention to that Okay, looking at uh, the yellows, let's drop them a bit more. And then it's also pretty hard when you get the yellows and the oranges affecting the same area. 
So I sort of do the same technique as how I figured out the blues and the aquas. Just find one spot that only one color is affecting and then match it up. So I'm not sure if I can do it with these two. They seem to be affecting the exact same area, but I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, um, right, you can see that we look too dark in here. So what I'm gonna do is do a brush, and I've already drawn the brush, and this is where I've selected. So just right in the middle there, turn that off for now. And what I wanna do is up the exposure. Maybe up the shadows. And then take down that saturation. It looks a little too saturated. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I might just have a play around with the reds. Hmm. I think they are okay. Oranges. I think the oranges can slightly go towards, or maybe the yellows. So I think we look at a touch too yellow at the moment. Let's shift them very slightly towards the oranges. Maybe even the oranges towards the reds. And I think that looks pretty good. Here's our before and after, pretty close. Um, we'll check out sharpening. Sharpening can sometimes, sometimes make your image look a little brighter. No, nah, not too much in this one. But plenty of sharpening, plenty of clarity in this one. So that was one of the key things in this image. So if we reset clarity, see that's making a big difference. Uh, what else? Um, the luminance. And yeah, not too much editing in this one. But I think that's pretty cool this is, image is going to be pretty soft because it's a screenshot off instagram so don't pay too much attention to the sharpening ours is much sharper but i can sort of tell even though it's lost a little bit of quality off instagram how much clarity and sharpening might have been used it's just a bit blurry over top and i might just bring the yellows up a bit as it could do with a bit more saturation up here and a bit in there. So I'll bring it up by 10 or so. I think the reds could come up a bit as well. And I think we could have a bit more shadows and harsher blacks down 
in this area for example and up there so I'm gonna try dropping the blacks a bit and I think that's good guys I'll just leave it there looking pretty good so before and after so yeah you guys go give her a follow down in the description her links will be down there for you guys really good if you go do that and if you're liking these tutorials check out the presets there's a ton of value and they're really happy with all the feedback and how many of you guys are saying it's really changing how you guys edit and yeah comment down below who you guys want to see it really helps me because i go through all the comments then go reach out to them on instagram ask them to send in a photo and then do a tutorial on them so make sure you do that leave a comment leave a like and i'll catch you in the next one